<laughs> the thing that I think was interesting about this album was that these songs are so old. Like, the oldest one I wrote when I was 17. I'm 23 now, so that's six years old. I felt like it was like a weight I was carrying, like, with these songs. Like, I had to do them all really well once before I could leave them alone. You know, so I had to sit there and really, like, pound my head against a wall for a long time to try to, like, update the songs to something that I could be into now. The Dirty Birds are myself. I write the songs and I sing and I have a guitar and piano mostly. Greg Hornby, who plays lead guitar, and he was really like the missing link, I think, for this band to exist, for it to feel like a band. You can think of one thing that I want to play, okay. well, right here. Greg has what I find to be kind of like a greatest hits lead guitar style, where he just takes like super insane teenage metal chops, mixes that with like jazz sensibilities, and then just like this total like Hornby personality that like only he can ever exhibit through his through his playing. Here we go, eight, and then... So Dave, um, Dave plays bass. Me and Dave, Dave and I, Dave and I have been friends since we were about six, and we basically played in like every incarnation every musical project the a is cool but as like a color not right, right, right. Awesome. dave has his own like musical vision and he's like a total leader in that way and so one thing that was interesting with making this album was dave settling into the role of support i think throughout the whole process Greg and I especially have just like occasionally walked off in the corner and been like, man, the bass on this track is so good. It's just like totally dead on. So Tomek Mirnowski was the engineer for the album. And he was the guy who was setting up all the mics. He was doing all of the complicated Pro Tools stuff that none of us could do. But beyond that, he was also our co-producer. I think a lot of the credit to getting it done and doing it well goes to Tomac for helping us like figure out how to do what we wanted to do. When you two get up high, it really comes out. So if you if you're in a high register and you have a loud dynamic, just bring it down. I think for every single one of us, it was the first time we'd ever written a string arrangement. I'd certainly worked on arranging with the band, you know with people live and like writing parts together and all those things, but sitting down and writing out a string quartet on paper was a totally different experience. This song needs to be really melancholy and nostalgic. Um, and with all these like sus sustained notes, the dotted quarters, I guess what I was going for was like a swaying feeling. So try to keep that. Saudade is a word in Portuguese. It's one of those words that's nearly impossible to translate. Um, but more or less, it's a form of nostalgia, a very strong form of nostalgia. And it's kind of the root of a lot of great Brazilian music that has influenced me. So there's 11 songs, and they all are different. And they're all very different. Sometimes you kiss me on the street It feels a little routine when it's on the cheap I 
what the fuck you had for breakfast today. Shit is hot, man. How do you think, what do you think this album is going to do for the world? Oh, it's going to have a huge impact. Gonna, huge. I can already, huge, with a capital Y. <laughs> <laughs>